The Chelsea Supporters Trust has called for the Premier League to reverse its decision to move a fixture, the proposed fixture is Wolverhampton Wanderers against Chelsea on Christmas Eve. The Chelsea Supporters Trust is saying we're not having it. The chairman of the trust is Mark Meehan. Mark, good morning. Um, as far as I gather, the fixture on Christmas Eve is still on, right? Good morning, Jim. Thanks for the invitation. And yes, at this present moment in time, the fixture is still on. Through the Football Supporters Association, uh, the Chelsea Supporters Trust has requested an urgent meeting with the relevant decision makers within the Premier League, but also along with our counterparts at Wolves, the Wolves 1877 Trust, and hopefully we'll have a meeting uh, early next week. OK, I mean, I think, I think, I think the, the, the match, Mark, uh, was is due to kick off at one o'clock in the middle of the day to be shown live on Sky. What's the problem with that? You could get there, you can get back from there and still enjoy Christmas Eve at home. I, I think it's putting supporters um, you know, in an impossible choice between going to the game gym on, and spending sort of like Christmas time with their families. And in terms of travel... At the present moment in time, there's only two direct trains back um, from Wolverhampton to London. It's a busy day for travel at, at that time, time of the year as well. And I imagine the train companies will take advantage of this and put the train prices up very, very quickly, the same air airlines do, and it'll be expensive. I think I'd also say in the past decade, Christmas Eve has fallen on a Saturday on three days and in 2017 on a Sunday. There's never been top flight football on those days and hasn't been for 28 years, which seems to suggest there's an informal policy at the Premier League not to have games on Christmas Eve. So I'd ask the question, why have they changed their mind now? So Dara, should the lawmakers listen to the likes of Mark and his supporters' trust? Absolutely, but they probably won't. Um, I've always said to you that, you know, money talks and you know what walks. Um, if this is something they want to do, they're going to do it. Um, it's horses for courses I understand where they're coming from from having to travel to Wolves and then back and it's a family just like players at Christmas have to play and some now fans are being asked to obviously give up that as well time with their family to go watch a game so it's going to be interesting to see what the reaction is like I think with bigger TV deals coming in more and more digitalisation of football games I think this is going to be the new norm you're going to see more than one game on Christmas Eve you're going to see potentially a game on Christmas Day the NFL in America have games on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day they have it on Thanksgiving. It's built around Thanksgiving in America for me when I go home in November. It's a big, it's almost like another Christmas. Part of our Thanksgiving day is, yes, we have a few drinks, we we eat, we might, make, you know, do whatever. But then you've got the three games after uh, dinner. You've got three NFL games on back to back. So it's a big it part of the tradition. Christmas Eve, then, that very much a family night. Isn't it be a family a family day? For, for me, for me, it is. Yes, I would. So why are we to, playing football then? On but Christmas it's a choice, Martin. It's not a decision. You can choose not to do yeah, but it. But we've not played football uh, for, for many years now, have we? On Christmas Eve, we haven't played a Christmas day. A Christmas, by the way, they used to play on Christmas Day, Jim, back in the fifties. We haven't played a Christmas Day match since sixty-five, and we're now. Are we going backwards a little bit here? No, this is money. This is the way the world is going now. So you want the product? You want players on three hundred grand a week, a million a week? Well, why not make else? it then a London fixture? So tradition, I agree, traditionally, I agree, I agree with that. Christian, you traditionally, think of, around Christmas, there were local derbies played. But you'd also think of the shopping in London. You think of the traffic, the chaos. That's might be why they haven't done that in London on Christmas Eve. Now I know the Chelsea supporters aren't going to like that, but I'm just saying. I don't personally agree with it, but I think it's here to stay and it's yeah. going to get worse. Because it's all about money. It's Correct. all about the broadcasters. Yep. Uh, Mark Meehan, uh, Chairman of the Chelsea Supporters Trust. Um, at the end of the day, it sounds a harsh question, but how much can football allow fans to dictate the schedule? Uh, I, it's not so much about dictating the schedule, Jim. I think you, you always have to ask the question, you know, who is the game for in football? And I do take on the point mm. that, you know, that Darren, Darren has made. If supporters matter... And we had that experience during the COVID where people were watching games in empty stadium. Remember how awful that was. If supporters matter, why are the Premier League and the TV companies making it difficult? And Martin's right. Why couldn't you have a game in London? And also, if you're doing it for ratings, and let's be honest about it, it's money and ratings here, no disrespect to Wolves, no disrespect to Chelsea, but look at the other two big games that are on that day that they could have chosen. West Ham, Manchester United and Arsenal versus Liverpool. You'd ask the question to Sky in the Premier League. Why did you not choose those games then? Because if it's about money and if it's about ratings, you would have gone for those games every time before Wolves and Chelsea. You, the, the TV companies want supporters there to make the atmosphere, to make the spectacle. Of course. But they're you, not, they're not, Mark, they're not going you, out of their way to make it work for sports. Do you and think the Chelsea fans, Mark, do you think they'll take up yeah. the allocation for that day then? I, I, I think... 
I think Martin, I think, to, to be honest, you know, to, find to, a way. You know, I think most supporters will find a way. They'll have made plans and they'll, they'll change those plans as well. But I'd also like to say it isn't just about the supporters of both clubs. It's about the staff that work at Wolverhampton mm-hmm. Wanderers, the stewards, the hospitality staff, the ground staff, the bar staff, the programme sellers, the box office staff. They've already probably made plans with their families not to be working on Christmas Eve and now finding they haven't to do so. And I think Darren's all right as well. Yeah, if we tolerate this, do we go to Christmas, Christmas Day? Yeah, no, hang on, on Mark. Christmas Day? You use the word yeah. tolerate. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, allow I mean, these, these, oh, people yeah. Are, yeah. these people at Wolves are get paid to, to, to go and do their jobs on that day. They'll pro- probably be glad for the money. I mean, I'm, I'm quite sure they'll be glad for the money. The, the bottom line is, if the fixture's on at one o'clock, it's your choice. You either go or you don't. I think so, that, Mark, will you go? Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, you're absolutely right, Jim. It will be a choice, and people will make that will you? choice. Where, where, where they go? No, I'll, I'll, I will choose not to go, and I'll spend time at Christmas with my family. But I accept that other people, you know, will actually choose to go. And I don't think it's actually fair on those staff to actually be working on Christmas Day either. That game could have easily have gone ahead on the Saturday, on Christmas Eve, on Christmas okay, Eve. Yeah, to, to yeah. work on Christmas I don't think Eve. it's fair for them to be working on Christmas Eve. Of they might time. be low low income people, and they'll probably be forced to work on Christmas Eve. I don't think that's fair at all. Okay, Mark, thank you very much indeed. There's a message there, no name in it. Jim, it's simple. Away fans need to start boycotting these kind of kickoff times on a day like that. That will make the TV companies think again, as you rightly say. America data leaves mm. us in the wake sure. in terms of w- what they organise, not just on Christmas Eve, but on Christmas Day. Yeah. And it becomes a national part of the fabric yeah. of the of the country. Yeah, I, I enjoy it having NFL games on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, I'm an NFL fan. So when I'm in England with my family, I tune in late at night, watch the games, usually with jet lag. So I have no problem with it. As, as a fan, I enjoy it. More sport, the better. Or, you know, around the holidays because you get more time at home so you can get to watch more one of the reasons, One of the reasons why the Christmas Day fixture, Jim, disappeared was because... Fans weren't attending. Christmas Day, I get, but this Christmas, Christmas Day, Eve. they weren't they weren't attending in big enough numbers. Mm. Yeah, simple as that. They stopped it in 1965. You think this is harsh, and the fans asking Chelsea think, fans to I go there on Christmas Eve? I think it's a family night. I think I think we should stick to those principles. I don't want to see it on a Christmas. But it's Eve. a choice. It's isn't a tradition it? now. Maybe derbies. Isn't it? Maybe they yeah. should have more derbies on Christmas Eve so that you don't have a lot of fans travelling for. Okay, it's yeah, a choice for away fans. Local derby, yeah. Yeah. If you're a Chelsea fan, will you go to Wolves on that day? It's a one o'clock kickoff on December the 24th. Will you travel? And conversely, how much can football allow fans to dictate the schedule now? The power clearly is with the broadcasters because it's all about money. And we knew that anyway. 03717 Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.